Conclusion A brief recap all that we covered in this session. First we discussed shares, how were shares issued. Basically we said companies could be private companies right, and public companies. In case of private companies, we said there could be a private placement of shares. That means we offer the shares to certain individuals. It's a private placement. But when we issue shares to the public, then what is the procedure? We make an invitation to the public in the form of a prospectus. These are the terms we did. We did what is a prospectus. A prospectus is nothing but an invitation to the public to subscribe to the shares of the company. So an issue is made. The company, uh, then applications are received in response to this issue. Then we looked at the concept called minimum subscription because SEBI says, that unless there is an amount, the 90% of the issue must be subscribed for by the public. If 90% is not subscribed for, the issue falls through, the money has to be refunded. So 90% of the issue of shares happens to be the amount of minimum subscription. If minimum subscription is not received, money should be refunded. So that was the first thing we did, that shares may be private placement or it may be issued to the public. When they are issued to the public, we consider first issue of shares for cash. The money may be paid in one lump sum. When a rupees 100 share is issued, let us say at par, the entire amount of rupees 100 may be collected in one lump sum. Along with the application, the entire money may be paid. Alternatively, it may be uh, collected in installments. The company may not require all of the money immediately and they may break it up into installments. What were the installments? The first money which is received, the first installment which is received, once a prospectus is issued, along with the application, the money which comes, that is the first installment, it's called application money. Once application money is received, the directors go through the applications and if everything is in order, shares are allotted. The moment shares are allotted, allotment money also becomes due. So allotment money, allotment is the second installment. The next installment is the first call. There may be calls, there may be the first call, second call, third call. Whichever is the last call is called the final call. So it could be the first and final call or we could have application, allotment, first call and a second and final. So the installments are application, allotment and different calls. <clears throat> issue of shares could also be at par. That is when the face value is equal to the issue price. It could be at premium. What is at premium? When the issue price is greater than the face value. The difference is credited to an account called Securities Premium Account. We also said that as per the Companies Act, Securities Premium has certain limited usages, certain restrictions on its usage. It can be used only to issue fully paid shares. It can be used to write off preliminary expenses. It can be used to write off the premium on redemption of preference shares or it could be used to write off the discount, expenses, commission, etc. on issue of any security. Besides this, securities premium cannot be disturbed. And what was the third, third type? If a share is issued, issue price is equal to the face value, it's at par. If issue price is greater than face value, then it is premium. If issue price is lower than the face value, then it is said to be at a discount. When shares are received, we also said there could be an oversubscription or an undersubscription. What is an oversubscription? If a company makes an issue of 10 lakh shares of rupees 100 each and it receives applications for shares of 15 lakh, then there is an oversubscription. The public subscribe for greater number of shares than the issue. 
that is a case of oversubscription when there is oversubscription the company receives more money what can the company do excess money can one be refunded some applications could be rejected and the money refunded alternatively a proportionate kind of allotment is made so every shareholder gets some shares the directors go through the applications and decide the manner in which allotment may be made in such a case some part of the excess money may be retained and adjusted towards allotment it may also be retained by the company if the shareholders consent and if the company is authorized by the articles it may also retain the excess money beyond allotment in an account called calls in advance on the other hand what is under subscription if a company issues 10 lakh shares and the public subscribe for only 9 and a half lakh shares it is under subscribed they have not subscribed for the full number of shares only as we mentioned before 90% of the issue has to be subscribed for because the minimum subscription as laid down by sebi is 90% of the issue if that is not subscribed for then the issue falls through the entire money has to be refunded to the shareholders <clears throat> then we talked about calls in arrears and calls in advance what is call in arrear when a call is made first call second call when any call is made and any shareholder does not pay up the money the amount which is due from him is said to be call in arrear if a shareholder pays money in advance then that is said to be a calls in advance how is it reflected in the balance sheet calls in arrears are deducted from the called up capital to arrive at the paid up capital so calls in arrears is shown as a deduction from share capital what about calls in advance calls in advance is not taken as a part of share capital calls in advance is adjusted only when the particular call is made it is not a part of share capital usually interest on calls in arrears may be charged by the company and in an interest on calls in advance must be paid by the company if the articles of the company do not provide for the rate of uh, rate of interest for calls in arrears and calls in advance is not specified in the articles of association then table a the provisions of table a will apply and according to table a the maximum rate of interest for calls in arrears is 5% per annum and that for calls in advance is 6% per annum next we discussed forfeiture and reissue of shares what is forfeiture of a share when a shareholder does not pay the call money due from him a company may decide to forfeit his shares or cancel his shares in such a case the company needs to send a notice to the shareholder telling him that if he does not pay up the sh the, the call money pay up his calls in arrears within such and such time his shares would be forfeited what is the implication of forfeiture the share stands cancelled and the money which the shareholder had paid up previously is retained by the company this is transferred to an account called shares forfeited account it is like a capital profit for the company and shares forfeited account is added to the share capital of the company shares which are forfeited could be reissued when shares are reissued the balance in the shares forfeited account is transferred to capital reserve reissue of shares could be at par at premium or at a discount the only thing is if they are reissued at a discount the maximum amount of discount that may be allowed is equal to the amount which is forfeited 
we discussed accounting entries in respect of all these situations issue shares for uh, cash in one lump sum in several installments at par premium discount what happens in case of oversubscription and pro rata allotment the accounting entries with respect to calls in arrears with calls in advance and the interest on calls in arrears and calls in advance accounting entries relating to forfeiture and reissue of shares we finally discussed issue of shares for consideration other than cash usually to promoters in which case it is debited to goodwill account or it may be to vendors for purchase of some kind of assets whatever assets when shares are issued for consideration other than cash the fact must be disclosed separately in the note to the balance sheet With this, we come to the end of our session on issue of shares for feature and reissue. Thank you.